do you understand this? Are you getting this? Do you know how to grab that Fab Four with the four items? Do you know the different locations above the Fab Four and the different locations below the Fab Four? Do you get this color game after your initial entry? Now just play colors, boys and girls, red bars and green bars, yay. This game of trading is not as complex as a lot of people make it out to be. This game of trading is made complex by you. The market is a very basic rudimentary item. It goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways sometimes. That's not complex. You're complex and you bring your complexity to the game. The game is not complex. The game in fact is simple. I'm not saying it's easy. That's the last thing I will promise you. The last thing I will tell you, it's not easy, but it's simple. Simple is different from easy. Just like basketball. Basketball is a simple thing. Get this ball in that hoop. Oh, that's it? And prevent the other team from getting the ball in their hoop. That's it. That's the game, simple. Easy, mm, no. But, the, but the, the rudimentary elements of the game are simple. You can dramatically increase the odds of your plays if you get the locations right and you match the colors. So above the Fab Four, you want, boom, solid green. Below the Fab Four, boom, you want solid red. And then after your initial entry, it's just a color game. Getting in near the 20, getting out away from the 20, getting in near the 20, getting out away from the 20. And you've got a basic approach that will dramatically raise your level of consistency because you will be playing with the flow, with the power in the right location. Now, let's get back. I love this. I hope you love it too. All right. All right. Let's look at some examples from yesterday. I, when I give presentations, traders, I try to grab from the current day, which we can't do it Saturday, or if I can't do it the current day, I draw from the previous day. So in this case, I just grabbed trades that my traders took Friday in the market, hundreds of them because they're taught the same techniques and many of them trade the same stocks. So on any given play, I might have 300 traders do the same play with different sizes, of course. But anyway, so here's a play that was done in Target. This is Friday, April 16th, okay? It's a two minute chart. Now, I want you to note that this part of the chart is yesterday. I mean, is the 15th. This is the day before. Okay? All right, just so you know. Now, we've got the 20 period moving average, the 200. Now, let's go grab our Fab Four. What's the first item on our list to grab the Fab Four? The 200. Where is it? Right here. Now remember traders, we don't have this. This doesn't exist yet. We need to grab the Fab Four before the market opens. Don't wait for the market open. We can do this before the market opens. So remember this doesn't exist. It looks like that. Now, so we've grabbed the Fab, we've grabbed the, the 200. I mean, sorry, let's do that black again. We grab the 200. What's item number two? Here's the 20 right there. Where's item number three? The prior day's close right there. And where's item number four? The last 45 minutes or so. What's the lowest item of the last? Let's say, let's say, I'd like to go, that's going back a little too far. Let's use this. What's the last 30 minutes, last 45 minutes? 
That's the lowest item. That's the lowest price in the last 45 minutes or so. And this is the highest price of the last 45 minutes or so. Now, of all these lines, where's the top? Right here. Let's extend into the future. Where's the bottom? The 200. Let's extend into the future. This becomes our fabulous four zone. Now we are in business, traders. If the market opens here, we know exactly what to do. We're going to Mars. All right? It's like Dogecoin did the last few days. Wow. Okay. If we open here, <clears throat> we're... We know what to do, okay? Now, I wanna talk right now about color matching. The, pr the best scenario is when you open above the Fab Four, you want the first bar to be green. That's called a match. You are matching the positive location with a positive bar. We've got a match, but sometimes you don't get that. Sometimes, Ah, you get a mismatch. Do you understand? Sometimes you get a mismatch. You get the first bar. The bar it opens above the Fab Four, but the first bar is red. What do you do? Nothing. We don't play mismatches. All right. So we would have to wait, when we have red, we have to wait for green to take out the high of red. Then we go boom in that beautiful location. But if that doesn't happen and the stock continues to drop, what do you do? Nothing, that's just not a play. So I need you to understand this, all right? This color matching. If we get a match, it's simple. Buy the match or buy above the match. Either one is okay. Buy into the match if it's strong. Buy right above the match as well, if you like. But if you have a mismatch, you do nothing unless the market eliminates the mismatch. Boom! It eliminated the mismatch right there. Very powerful. At the bottom, if we open under the Fab Four, we have a match. You can go into the, the, the match as a short or go under the match if you like. They're both fine. But if you have a mismatch, you do nothing, do you understand? If the first bar under is a mismatch, you're under the fat four, but it's a bullish bar, you do nothing unless that bullish bar is removed. Boom! I go in right there on the removal. It's important to understand this. Now, let's take a look at what Target did. I had like 200 some odd traders do this. Look at the first bar. We've got our Fab Four traders. We've got our Fab Four, powerful. Fab Four extended into the future. The first bar opens up right in the beautiful location, but the first bar is not bullish. It's not green. What do we do? We do nothing. Now remember, I'm gonna, to make this really clear, I'm going to erase this once again. I want you to understand that this is, on, this is the only thing you're seeing right now, all right? You're not seeing anything else, right? You're seeing that first bar right there, and you're like, oh, okay. But it, you're saying it, this is either going to be no trade or green is going to take out the high of this bar. And if it does, I'm going to be waiting right here. Look, this is you waiting right here. Look, let me draw you right there. You're waiting. You're ready to go, buddy. You see that? 
You're ready to go, right? Ready? You're ready to go. Boom! Right there. And what happens? You know. Boom! <laughs> I love it. You dive into that bar. You don't wait for that bar to finish trading. You dive into it the moment, the second, the nanosecond, it clears that high, boom. I get that question all the time. Oliver, do I wait for this bar to finish trading? The bar that removes the problem? No, just jump right into the bar as, I mean, one penny. The second it crosses, boom, no waiting, no hesitating, no guessing, no calling up mom, what should I do? No calling up the psychic hotline, just hit the freaking buy button and get in. Now, where do you protect yourself? I teach my traders, protect yourself under every bar that you buy. The very reason you buy should not be removed. Don't let the market remove the reason you got in. This bar is the reason I get in. Now protect myself under the reason. If the market removes my reason, I'm out. So look, my risk is going to be, I'm going to be entering right there. My risk is here. This is my risk unit. I'm going to lose that amount, but look at my potential. Wow, that's what I call the snowman effect. You see, when you play the snowman effect properly, you will be a very profitable trader and you will stay in this game a long time. Now, let's draw the snow, snowman one. Mm -hmm. I used to do this when I was a kid, you know, put some Oreo cookies into this white snow, get some twigs from the tree. Right, put a little hat on him right there. You know what I'm saying? Used to do a little um, carrot for its nose. Steal a carrot from the refrigerator. Get an old pair of boots of mine that no longer fit. You know what I'm saying? Boom! So the head of the snowman is your loss. So you always lose the head, but you gain the Oreo cookies. Yeah, Oreo cookies, yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? Do this, play the market this way where you're always losing the head and gaining the body and just math will take care of yourself. Math will take care of you. All right, knowing your risk unit in comparison to the potential gain. Very powerful. All right, beautiful. Now, I want to I want to mention to you guys, I'm almost out of time. No, 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 no. Uh please tell me um Ari, please tell me I I can go on a little bit further. I know I'm, I'm my hours almost up, but I've got so much more. I got a little bit more to share, I should say. All right, let me know, text me. All right, so there's something I wanna show you here. This is very powerful, guys. Notice how your three, your stock on the left, your 20 and your 200 are very close. You see how close they are together? Wow, that's called a narrow state. From narrow states, stocks explode out of narrow states. But notice how now your wide state. You see your wide state? All right. That wide state means that it's over. Don't expect a lot more upside after you've gone from narrow to wide. This is a big mistake made by a lot of traders. They don't know when to call it quits. They don't know when the odds have dropped. The odds have dropped that upside is Possible. It's not impossible. It's just not probable. But from here, oh my God, narrow state, wide state. Learn to read your states. Okay? When a stock is starting off the day from a narrow state, I start salivating. 
and the stock opens just above my narrow state, oh my God, I salivate more. And then boom, protection, risk unit. Remember, when do you take profits? Away from the 20 period moving average. When, what can you do after? Play the color game. Didn't I explain that after your initial buy, you can play the color game? When does green eliminate red? Right here. Boom! When does green eliminate red? Right here. Boom! When do you take profits? Away. So you got here. Boom! Away. Take profits. Back in. Color game. Boom! Away. Take profits. Back in, color game, away, take profits. Repeat, 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 repeat. Let me know if I can keep going here. I love this. Are you following this, guys? Powerful, simple. You know, most things in the market most powerful things are simple. I've always said, look, if you can't explain your whole trading plan to a 12 year old and they understand it, you're making the game too complex. Your whole trading approach, a 12 year old should understand and say, oh yeah, I get that. And if your 12 year old or if a 12 year old can't understand it, you're like, okay, um, when the when the planetary alignments happen like this and this line crosses that line and Saturn is in its orbit in the fifth moon of Uranus, da, 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 da. that's garbage, right? That stuff rarely works. Remember, the markets are simple. Market goes up, goes down, sideways. You know what's complex, all right? The, my, my Tesla's complex. Do you know how many moving freaking parts? What makes that thing go faster than almost any other car on the planet? That's complex. The market? Up, down, sideways. It doesn't even have another choice. What makes, <clears throat> what makes playing the market appear to be complex is you. You bring your doubts to the market. You bring your lack of discipline to the market. The lack of a plan. The lack of proper education and training. The lack of the proper amount of money. You can ruin everything by trying to play with a little bit of money, showing up to a gunfight with a knife, thinking you have a chance. All of these things you bring to the market. And of course, it's complex when you bring lack of discipline, no plan, no technique. You don't know things like location. You don't have the proper amount of money. You're just stacking complexity on top of something that is not complex. Up, down, sideways, up, down, sideways. Cut my loss under my entry bar, right? Take profits away from the 20 period moving average, all right? The best position to buy is right above the Fab Four. The best position to short is right below the Fab Four. Color matches. If I don't have a color match, I have to wait for something to eliminate the problem. I take profits away. I play the color game after I initially get it. I mean, a 12-year-old can understand this.